We are joined now by Barack Shmuel. He is a survivor of the Hamas attacks. Uh, Barack is an American Israeli, originally from Colorado, uh, but now lives uh, in Israel permanently. Uh, we know, uh, uh, Barack, uh, that uh, everyone in the country has been touched by this unspeakable horror. Um, and please know that our, our prayers are with you and the people of Israel. Tell us about your experience during the initial attack. Uh, thank you for having me. Uh, the attack started on Saturday, uh, Saturday morning. I was with two friends. We were on our way to work out. We're preparing for the army, actually. And on our way there, we got caught by a rocket attack. And us here in Ashkelon, we're used to that, you know. Uh, so we heard the sirens. We found cover. But it was just so much more intense. I don't know how to explain it. The explosions were much harder. Everything was much louder. The amount of rockets fired was, was way, way more. It was ridiculous. So we found cover. When it was clear, we ran back home. And the scary part was, is I started getting these videos of terrorists running around. And I couldn't, under, I didn't understand what was going on. At first, I laughed. I was very confused. It, it made no sense, you know? Mm. And then it kept on coming. And the videos kept on coming. And I realized that this is real. So I locked the house, and that was just the kind of like the moment of realization that this is actually going on. Uh, I understand, Barack, that uh, that you unfortunately lost uh, a friend close to you. Um, can you tell us what happened, and have you been in touch with his family? Uh, I don't want to get too much into the story. He was presumed missing for the first day in the morning of Saturday. And the whole day we were looking for him, that same night we heard he was killed. That's, that's enough. Okay. Uh, well, uh, Barack, uh, y you know, you said that you are training. You're getting ready uh, to, to take your place uh, in, the, in the IDF. Um, how do you feel at this moment um, with what you've been through and uh, as you think ahead? To, to the days uh, ahead and to perhaps your own service? What's on your mind? Absolutely amazing. You know, what these guys, what these soldiers are doing for us, I want to be able to do the exact same thing for, for other people. When I see them fighting and protecting us, I, I just wish I could be there with them. That's And you can ask anyone and they will tell you the exact same thing. That's how important this country is mm -hmm. to us. The civilians, it's it's... Our country, it's the, the soldiers and civilians were together in this. Mm -hmm. So when I look at my future uh, Army career, I want to make the most out of it. I want to be a fighter. And I want to do what these guys did for me, for other people. The situation does not scare me. It only boosts my motivation to do that. Barack, how old are you, if you don't mind me asking? I am 17 years old. Well, uh, we're going to continue to follow you. And uh, we appreciate you sharing your story. And uh, we wish you uh, we wish you Godspeed and stay safe. Thank you very much.